Yo, what is good y'all boys, Underdog, and I'm indeed back in the building. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the recently released Jordan 1 women's exclusive latte joints. I'm gonna give you all a first person point of view on these bad boys right here, give you a good look at the shoes, and we'll have a nice chat at the end about them, all right? All right, sounds good. Let's get into it. Woo. Bang, bang, here are the sneakers. These are the Jordan 1 lattes first impressions i really like the colorway i love the color blocking probably my second favorite color blocking this, this uh, black toe color blocking i personally prefer the chicago color blocking i think that's the best but this is definitely second you can't go wrong with either way though honestly like i mean this these colors are super neutral this color blocking is a1 materials are looking decent as you can see leather is nice well, let me get this camera to focus here leather is nice and soft very plush very buttery one might say see in the back you got this like suede or new buck dura buck material your boy's not an expert in materials but it does feel nice visually it looks nice i think the average sneakerhead would agree that these pass the eye and feel test now are they actually good materials probably not but you know it's kind of what we've come to expect i guess this is definitely a step up from the average jordan one it feels like they go a little extra on the women's releases too material wise let me know if y'all agree in the comment section but it always feels like the women's quote unquote releases get the better materials but i digress checking out the outsole here it's that latte color very very milky brown the midsole is sort of a sailed out midsole i mean we've seen this done a million times it's kind of getting outplayed but i guess it kind of matches the theme of the latte the upper of the shoe like i said it's that black toe color blocking so you got your color of latte if you will back here and you've got the white toe box good looking sneaker easy to wear super neutral unfortunately though as you can kind of see on this pair the qc not the best let me see there's a glue stain here there's a glue stain right there as you can see there's like a little scuff here towards the back of the shoe on that new buck material as you can see too on the back of this one there's a pretty gnarly scuff too i mean i can see it in person hopefully it's picking up on the camera it's not that big of a deal but since these are sitting and if i do decide to keep these i mean i'm definitely gonna exchange them <laughs> and hope to get a better pair because I mean, why not, right? These are so easily obtainable. I'm surprised even in the bigger sizes that these are sitting the way they are. But hey, that's a good thing. Like I said, anybody who wants a pair has no problem getting a pair. And I think you'll be able to catch these on sale soon. So be patient if you are in the market for a pair of lattes. I went ahead and scooped up the bigger sizes because honestly, I thought those were gonna sell out for sure. But nope, they're still sitting on the sneakers app. The latte storytelling doesn't end there. Even the insoles are in on the fun. You got the latte swirls all around 23 and Nike Air on that side. Just your black Jordan insole, nothing crazy, feels pretty typical, but the design is kind of cool and unique. You do get an additional set of laces too. They're kind of like a creamy set, more like an off-white. Definitely matches the midsole pretty nicely. And I also think like a brown latte set of laces would look, that kind of matches the back here, would set it off too. We can't go wrong with white laces. You can't go wrong with black laces, but generally my rule of thumb is white tongue, white lace. So I'm probably gonna swap these out if I decide to keep this or I might even get up get myself a like a crispy white pair. Meow. Sizing on these is just like any other Jordan 1. They fit pretty much true to size. I like to go size 11 for a little bit extra width on the side here. They were a little snug right on the sides of the shoe like right here, but besides that they felt pretty good. Lengthwise, they were perfect. I always feel like the women's shoes kind of run a little big too. I've heard most people say they run small, but in my opinion, I think they run a little bigger actually, but that's just me. 10 and a half fit like a glove. I wasn't wearing socks when I tried them on. I just kind of raw dogged it literally, Bruh. but I have no doubt that even with socks, they're gonna fit just fine. So there we have it. Oh, that was a terrible throw. There we have it. Latte Jordan 1. First impressions, quick review, quick look. I like the shoe. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Kind of disappointing the QC, but then again, it's Nike. What was I, I mean, what was I really expecting, you know? And like I said, the good thing is these pairs are readily available pretty much everywhere. So if you want a pair and you have not picked up a pair yet, I recommend just kind of chilling, waiting for them to hit go on sale. Save yourself a couple coins. We're all trying to do that nowadays, but you never know. Those bigger sizes, those are generally the tougher ones to get. I don't know, this is just such a weird shoe because even in the aftermarket, they're not going for like 100, 110. They're going for like 150, which is near retail after fees. A super, super clean shoe nonetheless. Very easy to wear, good for all seasons. But yeah, let me know what you think of the lattes down below. Shoo.
So there we have it, Jordan 1 lattes. Quick look at them. Again, just to kind of highlight what I already said, QC, not the best. Materials, pretty good though. Colorway, top notch. Women's exclusive, I mean, I just don't get it. Like just make them full family sizing. It was good y'all, Editor Underdog here, and I kind of realized that they technically did come out in full family sizing. Like they came out in like big kids or whatever, then preschool. I guess the point that I was trying to make though is that like there should just be shoes. I don't get the whole like attaching a gender to it. That's kind of the point I was trying to make. So I wanted to correct myself. Technically they did come out in like full family sizing. Back to the video. I don't understand women's shoes, but let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all think women's exclusives make sense or should they just be like, you know, a standard sizing, kind of like UK sizing, right? Like a UK nine is a UK nine. It doesn't matter what gender is attached to a shoe. But anyway, back to the sneaker that we were talking about. I did forget to mention the sock liner. I'm gonna try to pull it up here. Hopefully it's it'll pick up. It's like a satin, silky material kind of. Same thing with the tongue. It's a nice sneaker, man. I really like these. I think they're fresh, but like I said before, I'm gonna try to secure myself a better pair without some glue marks and glue stains and stuff. But I think this is a banger shoe. I mean, perfect, perfect for the fall. I think it's a good shoe for the summer. Super neutral and easy to wear. Materials are good, color blocking good. You know, it checks off all the boxes. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about the lattes down below. Did you cop yourself a pair? Were you able to fit a pair? I know sizing, it sucks. Big footers kind of got left out at this one. Especially if you missed up on the mochas and you wanted to grab yourself a pair of these, that's kind of a shame. But at least the mocha one lows will be dropping soon. So you'll be able to cop those probably for relatively cheap, if not retail. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of the lattes down below. I appreciate you tuning into my video. If you like the video, why not hit that like button? Maybe even consider subscribing. I'll be forever grateful if you did. Stay humble, stay hungry, stay hydrated. Until next video, peace.